Hey everyone, in this video we'll be learning about .NET MAUI hide uh, CL item of a collection view in C -SAP and uh, we'll be using data tigers in order to do it that is we are going to hide a uh, one cell item that is that was over here okay so in this area and we'll be using the CSA uh, to uh, get this data triggers working and we are going to hide it hide that is individual item so if you want it in uh, jaml then i have already made the video regarding the jaml implementation so here you can see dot net maui hide cell item in collection view using jaml so uh, that is video number 37 you can get it from my uh, like um, the playlist that i have provided in the videos description of each and every video so i have been uh, doing lots of collection views as well as a real uh, life um, examples of um, uh, like application development regarding collection view and lots of converters uh, fonts and lots of things you can just uh, watch my previous videos to learn more regarding the implementations of all the uh, real life examples and here uh, we'll be using the data triggers in csap so uh, in order to do any type of csap uh, programming we've been using our uh, plugin name as uh, uh, i'll just show it to you .net maui uh, maui comment toolkit maui core and markup so just uh, don't forget to add all this plugin and don't forget to add uh, the plugin implementation over here in the maui program.cs so let's start with the um, uh, csap ui okay so uh, what i have done is like i have initialized this csap ui and i have been doing this uh, uh, ui from my tutorial first so that uh, uh, we are not changing the pattern of anything so here you can see uh, we, we just uh, we're going to create a collection view okay and uh, this is just a basic very basic ui okay with a root definition of uh, 50 at top you can see a uh, root definition uh, here the, the empty space is there but what our target is like uh, we are going to create a collection view and going to place that collection view to grid dot row one okay so this ui is being called and here you can see i have put that item to grid dot row one so this is the collection view and uh, item source property from the view model so actually what we are going to do is like we are going to call a list of items from the view model so this collection view is binded from the uh, is initialized from the collection view i'll just explain more regarding this but for a collection view to get its item source property we have to initialize a view model so what we were doing in our uh, jaml2 we are going to do the same thing over here okay so we know that uh, it inherits from the bindable object for our property change event so uh, i'll just comment this thing out because i have just done that okay so people item is a list of item that gets uh, sent to the collection view to show the items but here you can see whenever this view model get initialized it calls uh, the view model data so that is it okay so th this uh, yeah, well, like we can get the data from database or api or any uh, objects okay and then or the json2 so now uh, next thing is like uh, whenever we get the data then uh, we should get a data in the form of uh, in the form from the api and uh, named as like item is visible if this item is visible or not from the api itself we can do it another way too but in this tutorial uh, i'll just make this tutorial a little bit easy and uh, what we are going to do is like uh, we can change this uh, um, like from the model class itself creating uh, another object uh, but in this tutorial i'm not going to do that let's say uh, api sends you uh, the data that if uh, that individual cell item is visible or not okay as of now in this tutorial but in next tutorial i think i'll i'll just modify this thing and i'll just make another advanced tutorial regarding the changing of uh, individual uh, property item okay now uh, if even though if it's not provided from the api so uh, let's suppose this uh, Alice uh, was an object item okay having that name as well as uh, the details so my model is the model class okay that uh, has name address and the is visible property okay so this has the property name as name address and is visible item equals to true okay so uh, this property has been disabled you can see is visible equals to false now uh, actually what we are going to do is like now I'll just explain more regarding this the same thing that we have done in our XAML the same thing we are going to do and that this is the only code that is required okay so the jaml in the jaml what we actually have done is uh, i'll just show it to you okay so here in our jaml2 uh I'll just drag it over here okay so we had uh, like a, a name as well as is binding okay so same thing name name as well as the address binding okay because we have name as well as the address okay so name and address binding 
okay and then is item uh, item is visible property binding okay so we we had three bindings right so we are going to create uh, for an individual collection view okay and uh, we have an item template okay so same thing goes on the jaml side too okay we have an item template data template and then for each individual item okay we have a binding name as uh, name as well as age binding name as well as address binding over here okay then this grid is added with the name address as well as the address label means two, two labels are there that is going to be added to the grid grid row zero grid row one okay so now what we are going to do is like we are going to create a triggers okay as a data trigger so here you can see uh for same thing like how it goes in jaml okay for each grid dot for each grid okay so grid has a grid dot triggers okay means we are going to add a grid a trigger okay and then we are going to tell that if that grid was um, the property was false then we are going to make that uh, height request equals zero okay that means if uh let us suppose this is the get data grid this is the type of grid okay means now from that individual grid this is the item grid right this is the main grid okay of that is individual cell if uh like item is visible property that means this item is visible property if it was false okay then we are going to set the height of that individual grid to zero okay that is it and then uh, that main grid is going to be added with the data triggers same thing for the label 2 i have added okay as a extra code over here okay this is the extra code and what i have been telling over here is like if that main grid which has two labels okay if that individual item uh, item is visible to equals to false then we are going to hide the label whatever label are there inside the grid to false and then we are going to add that uh, main grid to the trigger so that is it and then i'm just return the main grid dot background color as well as height of uh, 80 you can just add it over here also no, no matters what uh, we can do over here also so yeah so that is it so that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for our next tutorials